Hey, what's going on guys? Cyril so back again today with another video on Battlefield 1 as usual. And today, possibly something I might start up as a kind of series. I would quite like to start this as a series because there's loads of things I've found out about Battlefield that don't really... I can't really put them into its own video. There's just not enough to talk about to make its own video. So maybe sometimes it's the tips or tricks and the did you know I could do it on alternating weeks and every week just kind of make a tips and tricks or a did you know depending on what I found out over the past week or two and that could obviously benefit you guys it gives me more stuff to upload because I've covered a lot in this game already and I'm starting to run dry on things to upload I've still I've still got things planned but with the next DLC map being December and the actual DLC being in March that's a lot of stuff to try and cover over all that time so this could be my new series we'll see how it goes but today just a few things that could help you guys kind of tips and tricks the first being this is probably the least helpful one but it's how to bring up a graph on basically your ping and your internet latency and the tick server rates and all this very simple as you can see on the screen it's just always turned off you always have the other one turned on which shows you if you're lagging out and stuff but you don't know why you're lagging out this one can show you it's very very intrusive on the screen but you can make it work if you really want it there. I just pop it up every now and again to check on my internet if I'm lagging really bad, just to see if it's my end or the server. But that's it, that. The second one is the reload. Well, not reload, it kind of makes your gun have a faster fire rate. So the semi auto, there's three guns that do it the trench shotgun, any trench shotgun, the gasser pistol for the assault class, so you can pair this with your shotgun if you'd like to probably my favorite pistol I might do a separate video on it because it's so good and the SL sweeper I've made a video on that before the best starter gun in battlefield and I still heavily stand by that because I tried it again recently and I think it's been updated or buffed or something and it just seems better but yeah instead of tap fire if you just hold the trigger down you'll see it in all three clips I'll be playing them in the background they just fire so much faster, it's especially helpful for the trench shotgun if you run into a room of people. They kind of don't stand the chance really if you can get into a group of people. So that's probably why that's my favourite shotgun, same with that pistol and the SL sweeper, it just, they're all amazing once you kind of find out this fast firing semi-auto, I wouldn't call it full auto. Except maybe in the sweeper's case, that kind of is full auto, but the other ones, yeah, they fire a lot faster with this. And the last one I've got for you guys today, kind of helpful I found, especially in where you are playing a fast game mode like Rush. There's actually a knee slide in this game, most people didn't know about it, I found out about it by accident. And I just didn't think it was a knee slide until I saw one of my friendly teammates do it. They knee they knee slided across the ground towards me to get into cover so they could use my medic packs and it kind of clicked in my mind that's a really really good mechanic for Battlefield 1 so if you're ever kind of struggling to get behind cover use the knee slide all you gotta do is sprint and when you wanna start your slide just tap the crouch button PlayStation at circle so that's it that's how you knee slide don't hold it because it'll put you straight into prone and you'll probably die. So, yeah, that's it for me today, guys. I've been Cyril God. See you in the next video.